store sales in the U.S. advanced 4% this week, but week-to-week -week figures on a comparable store basis remained flat, even though there was supposed to be an uptick with Mother's Day shopping. ICSC is predicting low single-digit increases at the chains for the month of May. Macy's reported first quarter sales rose 6% to $5.6 billion, and it registered a profit of $23 million, compared with a loss of $88 million one year ago. The department store chain is having great success with its strategy of tailoring merchandise to local store needs rather than a national one-size-fits-all approach. Sotheby's Geneva sale of magnificent jewels fetched $53.987 million and was 88% sold by lot. The top lot was a fancy intense blue cushion-shaped diamond weighing 7.64 carats mounted in yellow gold and platinum. It sold well above estimate at $8.04 million. GIA's grading report listed the diamond as natural color VVS2 and stated that the diamond may be potentially flawless after repolishing. Another diamond ring, this emerald cut 52.82 carat diamond set in platinum sold for $7.935 million. GIA graded this diamond D flawless with excellent polish and symmetry and classified it as type 2A. Pro golfer Christy Kerr and Quiot created a limited edition diamond jewelry collection in support of Birdies for Breast Cancer, the Christie Star Collection, which was inspired by Quiot's signature Platinum Star Collection, launched in Manhattan this past week at Quiot's Madison Avenue Boutique. Designs are set in 18 karat pink gold and used diamonds and pink sapphires. Birdies for Breast Cancer is a foundation that was founded in 2002 after my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. I was devastated by this. Uh, it changed my life. It changed my whole outlook on life and, and my priorities and what was important to me. And I just felt like I had to do something. I felt like I had to give back. So Birdies for Breast Cancer was born. And it started as a very small program where I donated $50 for every birdie I make on tour. Obviously, for Eagles, it's double that. And at the end of the year, we make a lot of birdies. So it ends up being a lot of money raised for breast cancer. My sponsors match me. We have events every year, and to date, we've raised a million dollars. Um, we've just opened the Christy Kerr Women's Health Center uh, at Liberty Medical in Jersey City. And all the proceeds will be going to that center for the near future. Yeah, it's pretty amazing you know, how things happen in life. You know, I have family in New York on Long Island. And they're very good friends with the Quiots, and the collaboration just kind of, we just all got together and, and just decided that this would be an amazing cause to get behind and um, develop a jewelry line where the proceeds go to breast cancer. You know, it's pretty, it's awesome to have a family like the Quiots that have been in business for over 100 years, and they still do more. They give back more and more, and it, I'm just honored to be a part of this uh, collaboration. Gold jumped to a new record this week as the metal attracted safe haven buying, especially in Europe where the Eurozone government bonds lost some investor appeal. Earlier today, Bank of England Governor Mervyn King confirmed not what economists have been saying, but what consumers have been feeling and said the global financial crisis is far from over. He warned that governments must tackle excessive budget deficits immediately. Here is a look at just how precious metals performed in the past week. For all the latest industry news, be sure to visit diamonds.net.